Hello everyone, hopefully you're doing well and welcome to episode 2 of Team Tiago. In the last episode we completed the Dominic Calvert-Lewin Premier League Player of the Month SBC as well as also building the squad around the team for Tiago. If you haven't seen the team, I'm going to show you in a second. The footage you're going to see mainly is pre-recorded and this is just me talking over it because there was so much footage that I recorded, it was literally hours of just me playing games that I've written it down to about six to seven minutes worth of footage. Um, but uh, not only in this uh, episode do we have gameplay, we also have packs and rewards as well. Um, so you guys will see that towards the end of the episode as well. Uh, they are the squad battle rewards. Um, on Monday which I did record I've been trying to get this video out as quickly as possible however I'm not very good at editing but hopefully this is alright I don't know but anyway um let's get into the footage show as you can see here um, this is the team I did try and see if we did have any other better center back center back sorry in the Premier League uh, in my club I did not um, so instead I stuck with Maguire and Ben Mee for the time being. I do upgrade them a little bit later in the game. But here is we, we this is this is Squad Battles gameplay. I want to point that out. This is Squad Battles gameplay. Um, but this is the first goal uh, that I did score on the series, and it was with Dominic Calvert Lewin as well. Um, but really nice, well worked goal from our end of the from our side of the pitch rather to theirs, and we score from it. Um, and here is 2-0 as well, really good tackle from Ben Mee, Celso into Van der Beek, into Lucas, and Lu Lucas is very good in this game, I know it's only squad battles, but, you know, pace is ridiculous in this game, and Lucas has got 92 pace, you can just see right there, and he's brilliant, but I also want to take this time also to explain, or, not explain, but kind of also, not, well not change, I guess explain, anyway, I'm going to use this time to explain the rules of the, of the series a bit better. Um, so, I think it was the day that I actually uploaded it, which was on the Friday, no I uploaded it on the Sunday, but I recorded it on the Friday, and I think in between me actually recording it and the video actually going live, EA released promo packs, and that actually made me think, how can I introduce a rule where I'm able to open up promo packs if I wanted to. Um, this goal as well, by the way, is a quick counter-attack goal as well. Um, some of these goals are pretty basic, bog standard, it doesn't really matter, I'm not really the fancy type player, I never really have been. But anyway, um, back onto the point I was making. So what I've decided to do is, in an episode where I play at least three games of whether it be squad battles or division rivals, I will have the choice uh, to either open up the 7.5k packs as separate 7.5k packs, so if I win all three games I open them up as three 7.5k packs, or I can take a risk and use them um, to open up one promo pack. So for example, mega packs are in store, um, I can either have the choice of opening three 7.5k packs or just one 35k pack. Um, and this is the footage also where I am introducing two new players to the team, Soinchu and Tomori, who I did buy. Uh, I think Tomori was like uh, 5 or 6k and Sunchu was only 1 or 2k I believe or maybe it was 3k, I can't remember I can't remember, this was a few days ago, I can't remember um, also as you saw there, Akini wants to watch on the bench that's how I picked him, I guarantee he wants to watch pack if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave it in the description below um, actually no, I've got, yeah I'll leave it in the description below um, but um, yeah I kind of got trolled, I thought it was the edge but anyway, um, but back to the point in hand I've been going back and forth between this this is one sort of shot as well. I am going to complete him. The next episode will be us completing this uh, this objective. Um, but this is just me showing off that I've started doing the objective. Back to the point in hand. Um, so, like I said, that's going to be a new wall that I'm introducing. Uh, I can have the choice as to whether or not I actually decide to open up three Son of K packs. Oh, this is Thiago's first goal for the club as well. Nice little chip ball over the keeper. Uh, I wanted to introduce that and ignore the red card. It was a stupid red card in terms of the decision. Tomori put in a challenge, and for some reason it was a red card. But anyway, um, but Thiago's first goal for the club. Nice little header dink into the goal over the keeper. Anyway, 
I just wanted to include that in there, and I'm sorry for replaying because I actually this first goal for the club. Um, but um, so the rule is now: I can open up seven and a half player packs if I want to. But if there are promo packs in the store, I can decide to put the FIFA points into one uh, promo pack instead of three seven and a half player packs or four seven and a half player packs. It doesn't matter really what. This is now us completing a two SBCs. The first one was um, for 45k pack, Prime Gold Players Pack, yes. Um, so this was part of the advanced SBC stuff. I am going to try and complete the rest of them. Uh, maybe in the next episode, maybe the episode after, I don't really know. Uh, next episode, I want to grind out Division Rivals because um, I haven't played a single game of Division Rivals yet. But as you can see there, Rui Patricio. Um, 84 rated in the 45k pack not bad i did actually put him into the team later on as well but the main player in there is actually upamecano who you will see in a second actually goes for around 20 25k so 20k there you go um so a very good pull by us kept him in the club um because he could be used for first owner bundesliga teams if an objective comes out where you require first owner bundesliga players um, and Maguire and Romero as duplicates there. The next one is a 50k pack. Now, this one was the big one, and as you can tell from the title, I did pack walkout, and this is where the walkout came from. This 50k pack, which we're about to open up there. The first 11, we have to have exactly 11 leagues where, where you can do it with one nation, and then eight rares, uh, 100 chem, I believe, and exactly gold cards. Um, so, as you can see here, we will pack our first walkout in FIFA 21. Um, and here it is, I'm just going to let it roll out. I, I had a feeling it was going to be this. Not not in terms of this player specifically, but in terms of where they play. <laughs> because I've seen so many people get a player or walkout in this position. You can kind of tell already where this is going. It's a goalkeeper. I thought it was going to be Oblak. It's not even Oblak, it's Andanovic. But AA rated first walkout of the series um, and hopefully the first of many but um, yes that is our first walkout and Danovic 88 rated um, looks very good though to be fair very good Serie A first owner goalkeeper once again kept him in the club because of course we're going to do that um, and nothing else really uh, in the pack Munier who only goes for like 2k and Danovic I think went for about 20k he does but less than that actually even worse um, but you've got Florenzi there you've even got Toran um, who goes for 2k or something um, so not too bad and a couple more duplicates in there but that is the end of the footage that I had already edited out now now we're gonna go back to me but past me I this is this is actually recorded after I opened up my squad battle rewards but we're gonna go back to me uh, where I open up my squad battle rewards and you'll see where, where I finish and you'll also see what rewards I got. So let's get into those squad battle rewards. And here we are with our squad battle rewards. We're just going to claim them now. I believe we've got a leap three at the end. Yes, we did. That's what I played up to. I probably already explained it in the video. But um, yes, yeah, so squad battles, leap three, that gives us a mega pack. Two premium gold players packs and 12k coins, which brings our total coins up to 45,000, um, which is very nice indeed. And now we've got Mbappe's feature team, and his pro card is just ridiculous. It's it's 99 stats across the board, it's ridiculous. Um, but the uh, the rest of the team is very nice indeed. Neymar, Ronaldinho, Messi, Ronaldo on the bench, very nice. Anyway. We've also got pre-order packs as well, as it is Monday, uh, as you can see there, they are now there. We're going to open up them first, uh, get those out of the way because they are the pre-order packs. They might be alright, they might not be. My dog's now barking. It's not a board. Great. And by great, I mean terrible. Uh, we do get Huang Chan. Um, he has just got himself uh, a ones to watch SBC. So uh, if you guys want me to do that, let me know. League and Uber Eats as well. We'll discard packs. Okay, really. Uh, and the rare gold pack. 
as well. The second one of the pre-order packs. Will we get anything good? No board or walkout at all. Kukurella. Doesn't look great. Uh, I mean, he's got okay pace, but... Hey! Liverpool fair. Let's go. Sorry, I got, I got way too excited there. Oh, what do I miss that? The piss check, though, actually, is a good one. Piss check's not bad. He's only worth like a K, but he's got a good card on him as a centre back. He looks very good as a centre back. Uh, but anyway, two premium gold players packs and a mega pack. Can we get something good in the packs? Do get, is that a board? Yeah, it was a board. Spanish, centre mid, Thiago, great head. I'd take him, I, I, I did um, I did pack him, did I pack him in a two level player pack, I can't remember, I think I packed him in the pack open that we did the other day, um, but he's going for not much because of his pace, but 85 rated, we'll take it, we will uh, we'll send the rest to the transfer list, the second 25k pack, premium gold players pack. Can we get another board? I like the lights as well, that's nice. Right. No, we don't get another board. It's gonna be those. Not good at all, not good at all. I don't know if there's anyone else that could be good in there. Angelino, who's had a massive pace downgrade. Um, and the final pack for the day, a mega pack. This is where the money could potentially die if we get something good. Will we get a board or walk out? It's not walk out. It's not even a board. Oh man. I went to all that trouble to get a single in one. Oh my god, that's an awful mega pack. Oh my god. Anything else? Oh, where's the. Uh, no. No is, the no, is, no is the answer. No is the answer, we got absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing, all right, we'll keep the rest. But that is where the video will end, ladies and gentlemen. Um, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Uh, obviously it was cut up um, and me pre-recorded the footage, um, but hopefully next time we'll be playing Division Rivals. Uh, we've got the, uh, what are they called? The placement matches, that's the one. We've got the placement matches to play. Hopefully, we will do well in them. But that will be for the next episode. Um, but anyway, hopefully you guys have a good rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.